is then you must have at some point seen the you, for you hateful content. And I'm asking for one example. Right. And you I, can't I, give us and, 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 and I'm saying, I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con of content, not even one tweet. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I Twitter can't... owner Elon well, no, Musk no. has accused a BBC reporter of lying during an interview in a row over whether incidents of hate speech are increasing on the social network. Mr. Musk was asked by U.S. tech journalist James Clayton how he would respond to claims that there are not enough staff at Twitter to police rising hateful content. But he challenged the reporter to give him examples of such content. And when Mr. Clayton declined to do so, Mr. Musk accused him of spreading a false claim. During a wide-ranging discussion at Twitter's headquarters in San Francisco, Mr. Musk also said that Twitter had four months to live when he bought the firm. He insisted it needed to cut costs to save it from bankruptcy and confirmed that about 80% of its staff have been axed since he took over last October. And explaining the last-minute nature of the interview, for which Mr. Clayton is said to have had only 20 minutes to prepare, Mr. Musk later tweeted, I said BBC could come Twitter then, to my surprise, a reporter shows up. Mr. Musk also described the interview as penetrating deep and hard. Free speech is meaningless unless you allow people uh, you don't like to say things you don't like. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. Um, and if at the point at which you lose uh, free speech, uh, it doesn't come back.